Group 1 Reactions by kscience.com Group 1 metals are very reactive. This means they react very quickly. Their reactivity can be explained by the atomic structure of Group 1 metals. They all have one electron in their outer shell. Therefore, they're not stable as they need a full outer shell of electrons. So they all lose one electron to achieve this full outer shell. So all group one metals lose one electron very easily and form one plus ions. The elements in group one from top to bottom are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. The reactivity increases going down the group and we're now going to see how reactions with water show this. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's first go through the safety precautions when reacting alkali metals with water safely. As these reactions are so vigorous and have the potential to be quite dangerous, the teacher has full responsibility for this reaction. A trough of water is placed on top of a smooth surface such as a table and placed behind a safety screen. The pupils are safely behind the screen and are protected from the glass trough potentially breaking if the reaction is too vigorous. The eyes must be protected, so the teacher wears eye protection. The reactions are very vigorous, so a small piece of metal must be used. The teacher must do the experiment as the reaction has the potential to be quite dangerous. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The reaction between lithium and water is the least vigorous reaction out of all the group one metals. This is the glass trough and it is filled with water. The small piece of lithium metal is dropped into the water where it reacts very quickly. The arrow shows how the lithium moves quickly on the surface and it floats because it has a low density, lower than water. The lithium fizzes as it reacts with the water. This is due to hydrogen gas being given off. If you ever see fizzing in any chemical reaction, this means a gas is being given off, and in this case, it is hydrogen. Hydrogen gas is a product whenever a group one metal reacts with water. The word equation for this chemical reaction is lithium plus water goes to lithium hydroxide and hydrogen. The aqueous lithium hydroxide formed is just lithium hydroxide dissolved in water. It is alkali as it has a high pH and causes universal indicator paper to turn purple. This is the case for all metal hydroxides. The symbol equation is Li, S for solid, plus H2O, L for liquid, reacts to form LiOH, Aq for aqueous, plus H2, G for gas. This equation is not balanced. To balance this, we're going to use the technique where we make a list of the atoms which are found on the reactants and on the products, which looks something like this. We can see when counting up the atoms on the reactant side, there is one lithium atom, and then on the product side, there is one lithium atom as well. On the reactants, there are two hydrogen atoms present, and on the product side, there are three hydrogen atoms. On the reactant side, there is one oxygen atom, and on the product side, there is one oxygen atom. We can see this reaction is not balanced because 
there are two hydrogen atoms on the left and three hydrogen atoms on the right. Therefore, we now need to balance this. To balance this, we put a big two in front of the LiOH. This means there are now two lithium atoms, four hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms on the product side. We now put a big two in front of the H2O, so there are four hydrogen atoms on the left and two oxygen atoms on the left. The hydrogen and oxygen atoms are now balanced. Finally, put a big two in front of the lithium atom on the reactant side, so there are now two lithium atoms on the left. This chemical reaction is now balanced. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Sodium reacting with water is a more vigorous reaction compared to lithium. We can see this because when sodium is dropped into water, it melts into a ball and it moves quicker on the surface where it floats due to its low density. There is more fizzing due to hydrogen gas being given off at a faster rate. These observations show us sodium reacting with water is a more vigorous reaction than lithium and water. The word equation for this chemical reaction is sodium plus water reacts to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. Aqueous sodium hydroxide forms, which is an alkali, so it has a high pH. This can be shown using universal indicator paper, which turns purple. Pause the video here to write a balanced symbol equation and the answers will follow. This equation is the same as the previous equation with lithium, except that the metal is now sodium. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Potassium reacting with water is a more vigorous reaction compared to the previous two. When the potassium is dropped into the water, it reacts immediately, burning with a lilac flame. It reacts vigorously as potassium is very reactive. Hydrogen gas is given off and because there is so much heat due to the vigorous reaction, the hydrogen ignites, producing a flame and it's the potassium ions which cause the lilac colour. The word equation is potassium plus water reacts to form potassium hydroxide plus hydrogen. Pause the video here to write a balanced symbol equation and the answers will follow. You may have noticed the balanced symbol equation is always the same when an alkali metal reacts with water. The only thing you change is the alkali metal. Here are the first four elements in group one. In your exam, you may get a question where you have to predict the observations of rubidium reacting with water. This reaction is too dangerous to do in school, so it is not carried out. Rubidium burns violently. It disappears instantly as it is very reactive. Its reaction is much more vigorous compared to lithium, sodium, and potassium. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.